we're hearing from the family of a seven month old girl who was shot this weekend. Little Georgina Gomez was in her Highland Heights home when her parents say a stray bullet hit the sleeping baby. Our WREG's Shay Arthur is live at Labonner Children's Hospital tonight with this heartbreaking story. Shay. Hey, Stephanie, yeah, I mean, really, this is just such a tragic case that we have to talk about tonight. And tonight, that baby remains hospitalized here at Le Bonheur after undergoing emergency surgery, and she really still has a long way to go. She has another surgery planned to hopefully save her eye, and tonight, her family has a message. A family hurting tonight. <laughs> Through a translator, we talked to a tearful Isis Gomez about the moments her seven month old daughter Georgina was shot in the head. She says late Saturday night they were at their Highland Heights home off Baltic. Little Georgina was in bed with her family when suddenly they heard gunshots. The next thing this mother realized was her little girl was bleeding, shot in the head after a stray bullet made it into the home. Isis described for us her now hospitalized daughter, an innocent victim of violence. Le gustaba andar jugando con su hermana. Era muy inquieta porque andaba aprendiendo a gatear ya. Telling us she's a playful baby. She's just learning how to crawl. While well, the family now hopes for the best for Georgina, her father also has a message. Estamos tratando de salir adelante y no es justo lo que nos ha pasado porque imagínese que ni nuestra propia casa estamos seguros. They want justice. They want the police to find the people who did this to their baby. He says they're a humble family who work hard to try and provide their children with a good life. And now his family has to pay for other people's misdeeds and issues because they engaged in violence. And really, Stephanie, you could just feel that family's pain when speaking with them. And that father we talked to there, he also called for tougher sentencing, saying people who commit crimes need to be held accountable. Tonight, it's unclear exactly who these suspects are or who they were targeting. Of course, we'll keep you posted with updates. We're live in the Medical District tonight. Shay Arthur, WREG News Channel 3.